What's up, everybody? Welcome to OmniPro Audio. My name is Jace Ace, and I am your mentor. Today, we're going to go over setting up your free trial with Pro Tools. So from what I've been told, it's a lot of people that never get into Pro Tools because of the setup process. They just don't know where to start or what to do. The good news is, once you do this the first time and get everything all set up, you never got to go through this process again. And if you do decide to use Pro Tools, the only thing you would have to do is either sign up for a monthly subscription or buy a perpetual license. If you're new to Pro Tools or just getting started, I highly recommend that you try the software before you buy or start a monthly subscription. To set up your Pro Tools or Pro Tools Ultimate 30-day free trial, we're going to have to do three things. First, create an Avid Master account. This will allow you to register with Pro Tools, generate a license, and download Avid Pro Tools. Two, create an iLock account. iLock is license management software that allows you to store and use your Pro Tools license. It also can be used to store licenses from other digital audio workstations and software plugins. Three, we're going to have to link your new Avid Master account to your iLock account. This will allow you to activate and use Pro Tools on any computer. I'm going to take you through the process of creating your Avid Master account, iLock account, and linking the two together in less than three minutes. Now, the entire video duration will be longer than that, but the process of doing those three things will take less than three minutes with me explaining things. So imagine how fast you can get it done if you were doing it without any commentary. All right, so the first thing we need to do is navigate to the Pro Tools website where we can start the process. Go to avid.com forward slash Pro Tools. Now that we're here, we're just going to scroll down a little to see our options. If you want to know the difference between versions of Pro Tools, click the compare option at the top of the page for a complete breakdown. We're going to go ahead and click the free trial option next to the version of Pro Tools that you would like to try for 30 days. Your Avid Master account gives you access to the software downloads. Click here to see if your computer meets the minimum system requirements. I'm going to cover the minimum system requirements in a separate video called Pro Tools, how to install Pro Tools on Mac OS and Windows 10. If you've already created an Avid Master account in the past, you can click sign in to continue. For this tutorial, we'll assume that you have not and we will click create a new account. Enter your first name, last name, and select the country you reside in. Enter your email address. Make sure you can access the email account because this is where the software download links will be sent. Create a password for your Avid account. Please note, this is not asking for the password to your email address. It's asking for you to create a password for your new Avid Master account. It's best practice to use a different password, but you can do as you wish. Complete the capture to prove you are not a robot by checking the box and following instructions if prompted. If you agree to Avid's privacy policy in terms and conditions, click Submit to continue on to the next page. To activate your Pro Tools trial, you will need to have an iLock account. Check the box next to create a new iLock account. This will create an iLock account using the same email address and password we recently created for the Avid Master account. The only thing you would have to do next is enter the password that you created on the previous page. Click Create to continue. If you already have an iLock account because it was required when you used other software in the past, enter your existing iLock ID instead. Click Submit to continue to the next page. This next page is important because what you put in these fields is going to determine how Avid markets other resources and programs to you. If you're currently a student in college, you may be eligible for special pricing after the free trial ends. Click the blue Email My Download Links button at the bottom of the screen to continue. There you have it, a little bit over 2 minutes and 30 seconds. So you mean to tell me that 2 minutes and 30 seconds has been stopping you from getting into Pro Tools all these years? Come on, bruh. Alright, let's move on. I got some more important information for y'all. Navigate to your email account and you should see two emails from Avid. Your Pro Tools free trial and your iLock account information. Let's click on the Pro Tools free trial email first. So here's where you could download the full Pro Tools installer for Mac OS or Windows 10. As far as I know, there is no audible difference between the free trial and the full version. 
you should be able to do everything in the free trial that you can do in the full version. You can download these here now, but if you wait for my other video, Pro Tools, how to install Pro Tools on Mac OS and Windows 10, I'll show you a faster way where you can do both download and install them from the Avid Link software application. Now we're going to go back to our inbox on our email and I want you to click on the other email. This email is just Avid going over the iLock account that you created on the website. It should show your iLock user ID and the email address associated with your account. We're going to go ahead and visit iLock.com by clicking on the link at the bottom so I can show you how to finish up that process. If you forgot the password to your account that fast, you need some serious help. <laughs> what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and click the wait. I already know my password button at the bottom of the screen. Sign into your account using the same email address and password we created for your Avid Master account. Make sure all your information is correct under your user ID. And then as far as verification information, enter in your date of birth, a security question, and a security answer just in case you get locked out of your account. As we scroll down a little further, you see here that we've authorized Avid access to your iLock account. That was authorized today. There's a button here to revoke that access if you no longer want Avid to have access to your iLock. And down here at the very bottom, you have the option to receive notifications regarding your account and iLock updates. You also have the option to receive marketing from iLock. If you agree to the terms and conditions, check the box and click update. Now that we got that out of the way and we're on the iLock.com My Account page, you can click My Licenses and see what licenses you have activated on your iLock. Let's go ahead and click iLock License Manager here at the top. And from this page, we could download the software for Windows and Mac OS. After you run the installer and install the iLock License Manager software, you can manage your future licenses from the iLock app on your computer instead of going to the website. Thanks for watching this video. Be sure to like and subscribe to my channel. Be sure to check out my other videos. My email address is in the description. Hit me up if you need tech support or hit me up for a one-on-one -on -one consultation. Hit the cash app so I can keep bringing y'all videos like this every day. The more y'all support me, the more I work.